Mbiasenin Lozi, an EFF member of parliament, briefly voiced his horror this morning at hearing that a prominent party leader in Johannesburg was shot and killed yesterday night. Please kindly hit on the subscribe button as we go into the details. Mosham Falil, also known as Fearless Radical Commissar FRC and Acting Regional Secretary of Johannesburg, was allegedly shot by private security in Marlborough as he was a member of a group of demonstrators demanding service delivery, according to credible sources. The EFF and its sympathizers are reeling from the tragedy. Mfalil was a member of a gang of individuals who inhabited containers being erected on Marlborough's 4th Street illegally. Although Metro and private security officials had already ejected this gang many times, they moved in again this past weekend. The region's continued tensions and frustrations over problems with service delivery are highlighted by the recurring efforts to retake the territory. Although the shooting circumstances are yet unknown, the community has immediately expressed indignation and cries for justice. The use of force by private security and the way the government handled the incident are being questioned by many. Mfalil was a well-known and well-respected member of the EFF, therefore his passing is a big loss for the organization. He had a devoted following thanks to his advocacy and dedication to the cause. The event is probably going to make people pay closer attention to the tactics used by security personnel, as well as the larger problems with service delivery that still exist in many places of South Africa. The demand for responsibility and a comprehensive inquiry into Mfalil's killing is becoming more and more strident as the EFF and its supporters grieve his passing. Once again, a competing group inside the EFF is challenging Floyd Shivambu's leadership position. It is a startling development that Floyd Shivambu, the deputy leader of the EFF, is apparently the subject of an internal faction war. According to unidentified sources, this faction is aggressively trying to remove Shivambu from his leadership role and raise questions about his dedication to the party's long-term objectives. According to reports, some EFF members are acting against Shivambu because they are becoming more and more worried that the party needs new leadership in order to accomplish its goals. Though the EFF has maintained a unified face in public, these internal differences reveal that things are not well behind the scenes. Rumor has it that Shivambu's adversaries are attempting to discredit him inside the party by highlighting his past transgressions and policy disputes. This internal strife could not have occurred at a worse moment for the EFF, given the upcoming general elections. The popularity of the party and its standing as a significant player in South African politics may be affected by any changes in the party's leadership. Shivambu has not commented on the issue, but those close to him claim he is aware of the challenge and is rallying his supporters to oppose the faction's plans. His party members feel that his expertise and dedication to the EFF's purpose make him indispensable. Thus, they will surely oppose any attempt to remove him from his position. As things develop, the EFF leadership will need to work out these internal conflicts in order to maintain the momentum and present a unified face to the public. The course of events in the next weeks will determine whether Shivambu continues in his position or whether the other group succeeds in unseating the party's chief executive. The popularity of the party and its standing as a significant player in South African politics may be affected by any changes in the party's leadership. Shivambu has not commented on the issue, but those close to him claim he is aware of the challenge and is rallying his supporters to oppose the faction's plans. His party members feel that his expertise and dedication to the EFF's purpose make him indispensable. Thus, they will surely oppose any attempt to remove him from his position. As things develop, the EFF leadership will need to work out these internal conflicts in order to maintain the momentum and present a unified face to the public. The course of events in the next weeks will determine whether Shivambu continues in his position or whether the other group succeeds in unseating the party's chief executive. Former Eskom CEO Matt Sheila Coco has voiced concerns about the African National Congress's unwillingness to let go of former members like Jacob Zuma and Julius Malima. Malima is the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, while Jacob Zuma is the head of an African National Congress dissident group. These people have a sizable fan base and contributed to the abrupt demise of the ANC. The former CEO from Eskom asked why the ANC is giving people priority.